In Azure Data Factory's data flow, you can connect to as many sources as you like and then sync that to as many destinations as you like. Let me just a little bit smaller so I can fit this better on my screen. In this case, I'm using the classic SQL Server sample data databases. I have the AdventureWorks OLTP source uh, data for my sources. And I'm going to land that into uh, SQL Data Warehouse into a star schema. Uh, the one that's typically used for the AdventureWorks data warehouse. So I'm doing some typical things in here, taking some of the sales data, joining it, making some aggregations so I can load the facts and dimensions. Now, in this case, this is all within SQL Server or Azure SQL Database or Azure SQL Data Warehouse. Let's say I want to add another source, and this is going to be something, let's say it's uh, an Oracle database, for example. So within Dataflow, what I would do is I would click on here, and everything within Data Factory, including Dataflow, is served. The data is served through a data set. The data set defines the data that you are using. So I'm going to create a new data set. What you're going to see, though, is I'm only going to have five options here. I'm not going to see the whole 70 to 80 connections and data set types that you see within Data Factory typically. And that is because Dataflow is being built from the perspective of this is a data transformation that we're going to use from data that is staged in the lake source. So we have Azure Blob, we have ADLS Gen 1, Gen 2, Azure SQL Data Warehouse, and Azure SQL Database. Now, in order for me to then take in data sources that are not these, I need to get them into one of these first. So the way I would do that, in my case using, let's say, Oracle as an example, I want to add some Oracle data into this ETL data flow, I would need to use uh, the copy activity or the copy wizard within Data Factory. So let's cancel this and let's go ahead and stage that data first. I'm not going to be able to walk you through the entire process. I don't have an Oracle uh, database set up right now. But the primary idea here is that you're going to use the copy data, which is this panel that you click right here, that button. Now I could call this, uh, you know, stage Oracle. Once the state is staged one of those um, staging areas for Dataflow, now I can then combine that and join that and transform it fully within Dataflow. But when you walk through the um, copy activity or the copy wizard for copy data in this case, you're going to be able to then create the connections to all those other different sources. So that's how you essentially bring in data from other sources. So here I can connect into my Oracle database. And then I'll be able to fill out all the connections and pick the tables that I want to stage from there. Now, when you create a copy wizard or, um, from this uh, mechanism within Data Factory, that will create a, a pipeline for you. You can always create your own pipelines and then stage the data through those pipelines. Now, the way that those end up looking, so if I give you an idea what this looks like from end to end, let's go back into ADF. Now, this is my data flow. I have a couple of examples here within uh, my pipelines. So here is an example of um, using a copy data activity, or in this case, this is really just a copy activity. And so this would exist as a separate pipeline from the pipeline that I will use that will execute my data flow. So I can have different cadences of landing data and staging. And I did, yes, I know I misspelled distribute. Apologize for that. And when those are done, then I can do things like refresh cubes and send out email notices. That could just be the copy data, but now I need to then uh, transform that data. So the, the next step within a pipeline or another pipeline can be to transform that data. Another idea that I can do is I can incrementally take data from those sources and I can land that into um, a blob store. Uh, and this again is another copy data activity right here. And uh, this could land into SQL Server, uh, and Azure SQL could land into copy or any of those other sources. But it has to be one of those sources that Dataflow can see. Once I do that, now I can I go ahead and I can transform the data. So that's how you bring in data sources other than the five that appear natively for you in Dataflow is that you stage it through pipelines.